All right, all right. So we are going to do SKSC for Skyrim. We go to the script extender website, which is Silverlock. We want the anniversary edition version of SKSC, which is here. If you are running the old version of Skyrim Special Edition, you want the one below it, but I doubt it, seeing as most of you are running anniversary, but the old one is just below here. Right, once we have downloaded that, it should appear in our downloads folder, which is here. There it is, it's a WinRAR or a, seven, uh, a zip file, so we unzip that by opening the archive, and there it is, there's the opened archive. So we take that, and we open it again, and that's what we need, we just need it open. So we'll, what we're going to do is we're just going to open up File Explorer and find Skyrim. So it's on my SSD, Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, and then Skyrim Special Edition. And that's where it is. If you can't, don't know where it is, you can go to Steam, select Skyrim, Properties, and then go to Local Files, and you can go to Browse, and it will just bring up that folder again for you, which is there. Showing you all that. I'm just going to close everything down so it's not confusing. So we've got this file, both files open. So you want the data folder, the DDL, the executable, and then the other DDL, and you want to move them into the Skyrim folder, like so. If it asks you to replace the files, just say yes, and it should just do that. Now all, all of them are now in there. There's the executable, there's the DDL, there's the data folder, and then the other DDL is there. So they're all in there. So we can now close all of these windows down. Then we go to Vortex and we click on Skyrim script extender, we click on the little dots, we go to edit, we go to the little file icon over here, and now they'll bring up the Skyrim folder for us, but you may have to find this, but you find the executable in that folder and you say open, and then it should bring that into that box there, you say save, and then you make it a primary.